This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple. Me. Well, my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in alright. Give all your worries and cares to God today. Trust Him for solutions. For every prayer, there is an answer. Never lose hope. Keep faith in your heart and believe. Today is a perfect day to be happy. Not just today, you're supposed to be happy every day because... Every day above ground is a blessing. So big up everybody who wake up to see another day. You understand? People remember enough time to come and me tell them, say, the justice system makes no sense. No found the cause and say, yo, care criminal go behind bars, go make them live. No, no, no. Me say we slap them in. And me go prove it to no. Yes, say the justice system makes no sense because me can't believe. I just hear those of them really charges the boy, yeah. American fugitive, Garfield Swell Jr. Yes, my man give himself holy pardon name, so I don't know if this name is correct. But Garfield Swell Jr. was yesterday morning fined 8,000 or one month in prison for overstaying his time in Jamaica. He was sentenced in the St. Anne's Parish Court. Well, on, you know, really wasting the time on a charge man, $8,000. Then all this makes sense. He arrived in Jamaica on a cruise ship on September 13th. Under the name Eric Lott and failed to leave the country. He was held in Brownstown, St. Anne on September 25th. In court yesterday, it was established that his real name is Garfield Anthony Michael Sewell Jr. Not Eric Lott. It is also established that he was born in Rochester, New York. Sewell Jr. expressed to the court that he wishes to go back home to the United States and is expected to pay the fine. Sewell Jr., 20, who lives in Atlanta, Georgia, is to remain in custody until he is able to return to the United States. The authorities say he is wanted for murder. Let me tell you something. Slap on the shot, slap him. Slap on the find him and slap him. But him come out here, he didn't look and ask himself. Anyway, now my people coming live from now on at Dunkirk is up there for the $10 killer. Yes, that is what I said. A teen has been arrested and charged for the stabbing death of a 16 year old Dominic Deere, otherwise called Papa Bear of McIntyre Villa, otherwise called Dunkirk in Kingston 16. Report from the Elliston Road Police that about 11.05 a.m. on Friday, October 1st. Dominic and a teen had a dispute during which a knife was used to stab him. The police were alerted and he was taken to hospital. Dead, dead, dead. Yes, man. They pan rather cost over ten dollar cars on a gamble. The teen was taken to custody. He was formally charged following a question and answer session yesterday. His court date is being finalized. Make I tell you something by people. Me tell you something. I will keep an update. Don't it? See me keep an update on everything. Yeah. Once it happened. On the goal to hear it right here, so the police has charged 23 year old Oshani Matna with murder following the shooting death of Kemar Palmer in Ferguson Square at Delapree Park in Kingston 11 on Thursday, December 31st last year. People, me and the talk about this. I wonder if you remember the police said that Palmer was stabbed in Ferguson Square at about 9 p.m. When he was approached by McNabb and another man, both men reportedly opened gunfire at Palmer, eating him all over the body. Dead, dead, dead. Palmer was dead. Both men escaped and McNabb was later captured and positively identified on an identification parade on Saturday, October 2nd. The police said the second accused has already been charged in relation to the incident. We are now we some time on a charge him, my boy. Every single day, me tell the police, them tap waste time and charge him. Slap them away. Them no deserve to be alive. Same like how nobody enough to be alive for them. Why now we time and make them alive? People, I said that I said that I mean what I said that I not take it back. Investigators are working to determine the circumstances that led to a fire crash along the Greenwood Main Road in St. James on Tuesday. So far, they have little to work with as they attempt to piece together the case. They have no idea if anyone was injured in the crash. Who was the driver or even who the vehicle belonged to? The license plates were said to be destroyed by the fire. Report from the Falmouth Police Department that at about 7.43 a.m. they received a call that a vehicle was on fire. Firefighters arrived at the scene 10 minutes late and extinguished the base. Assistant superintendent of the fire department, yes, Ronaldo Brissett, told us that the Toyota Altis motor car appeared to drift off the road and crash into a utility pole before bursting into flames. There was no one there on the scene to be in interview at the time and no one came to own the vehicle he said make i tell you something 
This look like a thief, them boy go go thief people vehicle and the vehicle burn up on them. Yes, people, me be honest to you, no seat, man. Remember we talk about isn't as it might be, you know. Me, I don't know, say, I that go on. You understand? But I just sorry, say, when them that try to jump out, them could get to jump out and then get to them deserve round there. So, I don't know, too, thief. So, what I said, people, no know, say, them thief already. And no father know the thief, them too, you know. You think, say, me, I don't know. Just as though, yes, we're going right up back the road. Come see them kill the two men that we've been looking for. Two men who disappeared after they went to purchase cow in St. Anne's on Monday has been found. People make I tell you something. Nobody look for an happy story and happy ending. Them never find them alive. Them find them dead. Yes, them find them dead. And I guarantee you to whoever them go to buy the cow from, take your cow money from them. Yes, people. Talk to them as it might be. Police all you need for do. I find who them be called. I say, yo, them a come come buy a cow from that person, yeah? Other person they do it. You understand? Yes, man. Other person they do it. The body of 76 year old Samuel Johnson and 40 year old Richard Harris, both from what town in St. Anne's, were discovered on Tuesday morning in the community of Omkas in Brownstone. Both men were shot. Yes, people pronounce them pronounce. Mr. Johnson's daughter, Sharon Johnson, third, believe robbery was the motive of the attack. Well, and old art, I mean, you never need to come, come tell me this. We already figured this out for our own. Remember, only for money for one cow, you know. Cow money can buy car and them thing there. So you can't stay there. She recalls that her father always kept his vehicle neat and tidy. So when the police officer brought her attention, the state in which she knew something was wrong. They dig out the dashboard and everything was all ransacked thrown on the ground so i think it was robbery they wanted the money and he didn't want to hand over his money because my father can be stubborn that's why she has everybody know them papa can be stubborn so she attacked it short so she has make you know her father yes who is samuel johnson in turban when he ready people she has make you know yes because she has a fear for that and she know him still and he was not going to give up without a fight so that she has make you know so see there no paper in dead yes people in dead 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 Dead, dead. So people this day and age still I say if you give them a boy a chance, eh? The man them go for buy cow and really kill the two man them. You know, the man them mix up your sign on people so not get me wrong. But we are talking for what we know. Cow them go for buy. You understand? I only kill them a man. Here. And then people are come come and say, my view, give them a chance. Make I ask you a question. You want me to give them a chance to come come sit up for you? If I that you want, then fine. Maybe give them a chance to come, come stop some man. Because some man to chat too much and I'll be honest, you know. Some man need to get stopped for true. Yeah, you know, in the comment section, I talk. Some man will chat nonsense. Anyway, now, people, can continue with the news, the news. I want to pay some shouting, go on. I don't know if you about it. I don't talk about the Spanish town shouting a big bird in a yellow shirt. No, 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 no. I can deal with this one first. The Manchester and Clarendon police are investigating two double shooting. Yes, people. When I say two double shooting, means you have four person get shot, which took place on Tuesday morning. Two persons were shot in Ferran Spalding, Manchester. Detail of their injury could not be ascertained. Me don't know if nobody dead yet, people. And nobody not really attack. You understand? But don't worry. My mommy tells me keep on the post when we get the full information. In Clarendon, two men were shot by a gunman. One of the victims, a 19-year-old man, has been hospitalized in serious condition. I can tell you something. People get shot at Clarendon. I don't know turn my eye over there. So because enough of them mix up. I don't mean, know all of this already. You know? So I don't feel like so we are going to feel sorry for them. With their Spanish town, garden pen to be exact. And by now, everybody's supposed to visit the video, and they must say, Wait, we are waiting for my view for come, come tell me my name, because we know my view and get the name. So, the correct. That is Lemar. Everybody don't know Lemar. See them slap a Lemar there. But I want to ask them a little boy something with the side, say them one bad. How do you run with the pants below on the waist? That is what me want to know. Every time on the dead, you message me to the pants there. A matter of fact, keep on the pants there. Give trouble and keep on the pants there. You cannot run. You don't go and get slapped and guess who I got to talk about to me. Me I go come, come read about it. So nobody, nobody come jump in the comment section about Lemar was a good youth this. Lemar was a working youth that. No, 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 no. I make mean, I tell the people them something now. You don't notice these days. People not scared the dead no more. Yeah. People not afraid of dead no more. Now one time people are afraid of dead body and them something. Me, me just want to come and go so. And I rub about him and I say, wait. So I charge you the dead and I build him with the same way. And Mr. Granny with a little umbrella and I wear as I look upon him. So I say, watch him. Come and look at the thief boy. Let's look at the thief boy dead. And the people must go about them business. All the dogs must go so that we glim tell and I walk past and I say, yes, man. You know, see you dead. You know, see you dead. I'm a matter of fact, people, them find out look at the decomposed body down my body. No, well, let me say yes, but don't worry yourself. I try to get the picture of the body and all of them are sending it to me. But as soon as I get it, you shall have it. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. Come and check us out.